as I stood there behind the pipe with my nose touching that of Coop's. I got this indescribable sensation. Never mind, I didn't. Whoa, hold up now, you're an outsider. Past this point is the turf of Ishanael, head of the Robos. It's ten coins to pass through. You try to pass without pooping, and I'm afraid I'll have to whip you good. I'm not paying. I can take you. What? You gotta be kidding. You think you can fight your way through here? I'm gonna make you eat your words, tough guy. Let's get this party started. <laughs> okay, Pink. That song was like one year older than this game is, I think, so anyway, whatever. Let's do it. This guy's not too bad, especially now that we're leveled up a little bit. So, a little power shell. Eh, yeah, shell toss would be just as good. The only difference with power shell is that it multi-targets, but we're not exactly looking at multiple targets, are we? And that can hurt. Not as bad as I could have, though. I didn't expect him to charge. I thought he was going to throw it. That's going to mess me up. Hmm. Just keep the keep the damage flowing. 4-2, 4-2, Well, same thing, different day, huh? Same poop, different day. At the rate we're going, though, we're going to beat him down to zero, so... We're going to have him down to zero before he gets out. So. Either way, problem solved. There we go. Just do that from the first place. Bam. You're dead. <laughs> 20 star points wouldn't have been bad to have a little sooner, but then again, you know, we're, we're still gaining levels fantastically. You think violence solves everything? Well, actually, <laughs> what is that TV show that actually came out there and said it does? Because, man, I love that quote. Yeah, I think that was actually Dexter that said that, wasn't it? <laughs> Meet the boss. I don't know what boss you're even talking about. Let's see, it's locked from the inside? Looks like we can sneak in through here. Ooh, what could be back here? Let's find out. There's a mousey mouse. If you've come all the way here, you must have seen some serious things. <laughs> it's gonna, it's gonna leave me out now. Oh, there it doesn't... Well, there's something here. I'm gonna check behind the barrel. Ah, I should have known. should have known they'd slip that in there. What the hell's going on in here? Hey, we don't have much here, but make yourself at home if you want. What do you want, Trump? If you ain't got business here, you can beat it. This is the house of the uh, ambivalent people. Where do you get off talking to me like nothing happened, like there was no beating? Yeah, guys like you act real cool when you win, but when you lose, you're all wah. Yeah, that's, that's because. That's how it works. Well, that turned out to be a... Oh, well, not really a ton. Not, not, not an entirely wasted trip. Sailboat thing there again. I wonder if that's like the airplane. Maybe we can turn into a sailboat. I think it's a pretty sail assumption. <sighs> that was not even a pun. It's not even a pun. I'm sorry, Chugga. Yep. Everyone who lives around here is real tough and street smart too. Well, that means we are too. We except we don't live here. We don't have a house here, and it's locked. Can't get anywhere in this town, I tell you, man. All these doors are locked and everything. Anyway, you come in here and huh. hey, is this your first time in the trouble center? I'm also from the ambivalent house, but I work here. If you plan on using our services, I can explain to you first. Need an explanation? No. I see. Then get out of here. Okay. Hey, is this your first time in the trouble center? If you plan on using our services, I can explain to you first. Need an explanation? No. I see. Then get out of here. I don't want to use the board. What? Are you going to force me to? Okay, fine. Trouble Center is uh, basically a place where you go, and when people have problems, they post them on the board, and if you're a nice guy, you choose someone to try to help them out. If not, not, but help someone out, and they'd probably give you a reward. But remember, if you decide not to solve trouble, you have to pay to cancel it. Huh. Interesting. And there's a lot of people that need help here, so... Guess what, guys? We're going to do every single one of these. I, I know you hate it. I hate it, too. But hey... Hate it or not, we gotta do it. Well, we don't have to, it's not required, but man. But I'm anal, so we're, we're gonna do it because I'm anal. Yep. Do it and do it right. <laughs> hearing that a lot. So the first trouble was we needed a key, and anytime you wanted to, like, I think you can actually look this up. I mean, like, if you walked away from the trouble center, you could look at your current 
trouble thing, whatever it is that you're doing, to remember, you know, what you were looking for. Which, in this case, we're looking for a key for somebody. Which also happens to be the key that opens that door at the end of the far right side of Rogueport, so... Here it is. Yeah! To keep going... Star piece. Yeah. It's pretty easy to miss. So, what do we got here, though? A badge shop? Oh my gosh, it's my dream come true! These are pretty expensive, though. Pierces enemy defenses. Super appeal, that could be interesting. Sleepy Stomp. <clears throat> oh man, that's tempting, but... Mm. Or is, don't, don't I already have that? I already have that, what am I doing? So I guess I'm not really interested in any of that stuff after all. Oh well. So let's go on back. Well, of course, it never really told us. I don't... Oh my god, Luigi. I am not... Okay, I'm sorry, but I am not listening to those. I am not reading those. I'm not doing it. I'm sorry. I, I can't. I can't. I, I just can't be arsed. Did you find my key? Yeah, I did actually. Jeez. <laughs> did you get locked out of your own house? How long have you been locked out of your own house, dude? That's awful. You solved the trouble. Yay. As far as I can remember, there wasn't really anything in here, though. Like you think there was something like hidden, but no, it really isn't. Maybe you can, like, stomp the ground later or something. I don't know. <laughs> whatever. So that's one. I mean, see, these will go by pretty fast, because they all take place within the town. So you never have to go very f Oh, wait, shit, no, they don't. My bad, I'm sorry I said that. That's not true. The Goomba, and I have a simple task. I need to have something delivered. Unfortunately, for reasons I won't mention, I can't be seen walking around Rogueport. Meet me behind Zesty's house on Rogueport Plaza. Sounds good. I think we might have met this guy before, but I'm not entirely sure. I'm thinking of one specific Goomba. Luigi! Oh, Luigi. You were annoying enough in Super Mario Bros. U, coming up with your little ding-dong! I can play this level for you because you suck too much! Now, is it not this Goomba back here? You never know who'll be watching, so let's do this thing quick. Take this package to Goomfree. You'll find him in front of Franklin's place. Try not to be seen. You got a box! <laughs> That's, uh, weird. So, he said in front of Frankly's place? That's... That's not conspicuous at all, dude. If you wanted to not be seen, you should have had him meet you here. Or something. Well, this is Frankly's place. You mean this guy? Yeah, give it to you. Oh, give, take this from me. That's it, I'll dispose of this in a way no one will ever find it. You could just flush it down the toilet. Then again, nothing... What, what, what gets flushed never stays down for long. In video games, as far as I know. I mean, see Banjo-Kazooie for all the proof you need. And he's gonna send you back to the other guy to collect your reward, which is slightly annoying, but... So, well, at this point, you should probably be used to the kind of backtracking... There is a lot of backtracking in this game. Just wait till you see Chapter 2. This is, why, this is why I'm doing this right now and not going to Chapter 2. It's just because I Chapter 2 is probably my least favorite chapter in the game. It is so... irritating. It just... it is. But... yeah, whatever. So let's go take on another trouble. I'll probably just meet you over there. And here we are! Arthur Price Adjustment. This is Arthur. I want to open a new shop, but I need help setting my prices. And since I can't go into a competitor shop, I need some research. Need to press a fire flower, sleep sheep, and tasty tonics and rogue port. Meet you in front of this building and make the exchange. Sure. Do it and do it right. You can't, like, take on two at once. Oh, this is the guy right here. He's right outside of the thing, man. I'm so dumb. Alright, how much are fire flowers? Those are ten coins. I see. And for sleepy sheep, those are eight. And tasty tonic is three. Wow, that's rough. Those are some low prices. I can't believe they're selling that low. What do you expect? When you compete with Walmart, you always lose. But apparently he doesn't have any problem with money, generally speaking, because he just gave me 20 coins, so... Hmm. Hey, 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 my name is Goopther. Please find the guy that pulled off credit card fraud on me. Yes! I just saw you. Yes. Talk to him. 
See, he was out in the plaza. It's like, I'm, I'm torn on whether or not to cut this, because it doesn't take that long to get over there. It's like 10 seconds, but at the same time... I mean, some of the bigger backtracking moments later in the game will probably merit cutting more than this. That's the wrong Goomba. It's this guy. <laughs> hiding somewhere, and I want you to find him! By the way, bandits are those guys in blue outfits. Well, that sounds about right. Well, we've seen a couple of those already, so... And they're always hiding out behind the buildings, too. So it's really just a matter of which one did it. It might be this one here. The Fraud Police? Yep, yeah, that's exactly what we are. We're the Fraud Police. So then you gotta chase him around and find all these different spots that he's hiding, and it just gets to be... They're gonna be good jobs. Easy work, great pay. Do something easy. I don't know if you lifting. What, you don't lift, bro? That's disappointing. Hey, hey, hey! I got all the Codice new products. Oh, this guy! This guy sells some interesting stuff. Yeah, let's take a look. W Emblem changed Mario's clothes into Wario's. <coughs> Sounds boring. And this is another one of those. Increased attack power by 5 when Mario is in peril. Believe it or not, I'm actually getting this one. Yeah, I'm not kidding. I can't promise anything about how often I'm going to use it, but I'd like to try to at least once or twice in the game, just because of how much ass it kicks. And hey, you never know when you'll find yourself with 1 HP left, and a turn. You never know, you really don't. So I'm going to go ahead and equip the badge now. And I can't because I like the BP. I'll just get BP on my next level. I know I should get HP, but oh... Do this bit by bit. There he is. The little hooker. Cripes, the fraud police! You don't give up easy, do you? <laughs> no, we don't. Well, what's wrong with you? Who, me? Well, I'm a bit down. My older brother left Porches the other day. I wonder how he's doing now. So he comes back in one piece. Well, it's not like he's going off to war and getting shot to pieces, good lord. He just went out to sea. The worst that's gonna happen is he's gonna throw up. You know? And... With that, I know this guy's standing outside. I do need to take care of that. And we will, in good time. There you are, sneaker. Cripes, the fraud police! Why, we shoot your serious! Psh, fine, I'm a man. Do with me as you will. Nah. No fighting here. Looks like he caught him. Here's a reward. We worked it out like gentlemen. We worked it out caveman style. I traded Mr. Miyagi here a bottle of water for a fishy cot. Water has no value here, Freckles. It's gonna rain eventually. Yeah, we solved the trouble. Well, now, let's go ahead and take care of this while we're here. You can talk to this guy, he'll say. Hey, value customer, your contact lens is in. Please drop by our shop. Hey! It's too bad the old lady couldn't have come here and seen that it was here. Then again, she would have had to pay ten coins, which she probably didn't have, because... Cooking is such a infertile business. It's such a terrible business. You make A25 an hour, best case scenario. But since Obama raised the minimum wage, maybe not. I don't know. A contact lens. Oh, sweet relief. Thank you. I didn't have to get it fitted or anything. It just happens to fit in my eye. Be careful from now on. People don't get generally like having their stuff stomped on. No, not really. But what about their shoes? What if I was stomping on their shoes and my foot just went into the shoe so that I was wearing it? Then I wouldn't really technically have done any damage to the shoe. Oh great, a whole nother area. With star pieces galore, because there's one here, and then there's one back here. And this is a nice little... Oh, how refreshing. This is my favorite place. It's the only peaceful area in all of Rogueport. I don't know, the dock was pretty peaceful. Ah, and we got this guy here. I should have checked this on my other file. The lottery's fun and exploding with excitement. I'd love to tell you more. Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more. What numbers will you pick? Tell me more. Tell me more. Do I have a big dick? That was too obvious. Mm-hmm. Sure, okay. So go ahead, buy a number. Only ten coins for new customers. Yeah, I'll buy it. 
You can also change your number for 100 coins, but oh my god, that can possibly be worth it. So, your number is 8556. That's pretty much chosen at random. Now what you do is you come back and check this board once every 24 hours, like in real life time, and it'll change the number. And you get prizes if any of your numbers match. Let's see. 2645. Yeah, not a 1. Sorry, an unlucky day, no matches today. Blah, 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 blah. I think the number on my other file is, uh... 5205 or something like that. Because I don't really need that mushroom. Hmm. What's going on back here? I haven't seen this side of the town yet. Hello. Hi there, cutie. Welcome to Westside Goods. Look who's talking. What can I do for you? Oh, uh, you can store stuff here if you want. If you have, like, extra stuff you don't need. Oh, uh, I can't imagine why. I, I don't know. These pal blocks. I don't really need that. But am I ever going to come back and pick it up? That's the question. It's a fire flower. We can do that, too. I'm not sure what the mystery actually does, but... No, I'll hang on to it. Not much else we can really do. Well, there's a door back here. Doesn't want to let me through. That's kind of peculiar. Well, we won't need to for a while, so... Just pretend like you didn't see that. The boss told me to look after this place. You do anything funny, I'll tell you like that. Yeah, this is the Pianta Parlor. I don't really want to go in here because I can't do much right now. But we'll say hello. I love checking my scores on this machine after playing games. I'm here all day. What? My husband is worried about me? Oh, don't be silly. He doesn't mind. As long as he's writing, he doesn't notice when anyone else does. <laughs> This place run by Don Piata. You can play fun games in here. We'll be on tokens, redeem for prizes. Yeah, play to win and get those prizes. Yeah, so you can pretty much play games here to win tokens. But, uh, I'm not gonna mess with that right now. There's like three coins per token, but you can't trade the tokens back in for coins, so... So, like, you'll collect tokens to build up towards getting certain prizes and stuff. That's pretty cool. Anyway. What are we doing here? Yet another day dwindles away while I loaf in bed doing nothing. Oh well, I am rich after all. <laughs> I guess this is not a bad looking place, actually, considering. Considering how weird the rest of the town looks. Oh, I thought the store was gonna be locked. Huh. I believe this is that lady's husband. Grr, my wife spends all day in the parlor, so I never get anywhere on my novel. Like you would get anywhere on it with her here. Trust me, as a writer myself, the last thing you need is people around when you're trying to write. I didn't see you here. My dad's writing a novel, but it'll never sell. It's terrible. <laughs> well, how do you know? Have you read it? Probably did. You probably snuck in there while I was sleeping and read it. Oh, there's so much to do. Even when we get in the sewers, there's going to be so much to do. Man, I'm going to have to stop the episode here pretty soon. But, uh, let's go ahead and check out... Yeah, we need to do this, too. So I completely forgot about this. Luigi! This is where you go. Welcome to the home of Merlin, the super magician. I first saw you arrive. Well, yeah, I'm sure you did. Well, in that case, you could have opened the door for me. Oh, well. Let's see. Who should we power up? I don't know. I'm gonna go with Coops. Yeah, because Coops is badass, man. I love Coops. Shazerby! Here we go again with the crazy special effects and whatnot. Every three shine sprites you pick up, probably want to come back here and trade this in, because... Oh man, for a second there, Coops looked actually... kind of mad. Like, oh yeah, now he's got 15 HP. And he has a new move in his set, which we... Pretty much have no reason to look at it right now because we're not going to be using it. Unless he wanted to use it on someone around here, I don't know. Anyway, in the next episode of Paper Mario 2, guys, we will do the rest of these. And hopefully, maybe with any luck, get started on Chapter 2, but I don't know yet. Guess we'll find out later. Goodbye!